What's up, Benny, then, mate? Yeah, you just call me Braveheart. All right, then, yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. Well, guess what? I'm going to Scotland for New Year's. Well, what's wrong with staying here with us? Oh, you don't seriously expect me to answer that, do you, Mum? <laughs> All right, look, I'm going to be off. See you later. Bye. Mwah. It's a friend of Asif's. He's told him to invite whoever he likes, so I'm going to ask all my mates. Look, it'd be good if we could all spend New Year's together. You and I are hardly mates, Martin. Yeah, I know we didn't get off to the best of starts. That's an understatement. Look, I'm sorry about all that stuff with the jackets. I was horrible to you. What would you say? New Year, new start? Well, it's tempting, but I usually spend New Year's with my dad. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It's it's going to be rough. It sounds brilliant. Who else is going? Everyone. Anyway, as I've said, you're all invited. Oh, nice one, man. No way. There's only one place to be when that clock strikes 12, and that is London. And I'm going to get us tickets to the baddest party. Well, look, it's up to you lot. But I reckon it's be a right laugh. No, if there's a chance of getting away from this place, I'm taking it. No, we can't leave Dad on his own. Well, Ash will stay here. And Addy. I mean, whatever's wrong with him, we can't make it better, can we? So what's wrong with him? When he gets in these horrible moods, not like other people, it becomes really scary, like he's got no control. Where is he now? Addy's keeping an eye on him till Ash gets back. He'll know what to do. I reckon you need a break. You should come to Scotland, though. I don't know. Is Tarek going? I hope not. That's what I thought about Ronnie at first. But who cares? I want a holiday. Good for you. He's a bit weird, though, isn't it? Especially after you've been so close. Sometimes I think I'll never get over it. Not properly. See you first. Well, to be honest, Tarek and I, well, we never actually did it. Hey? Well, I wanted to, but he always found an excuse. <sighs> Typical Tarek, all mouth. I bet he's up for one night stands, but a whiff of the real thing and he's on his toes. I suppose you're right. Or maybe you're just scared you'd laugh at his goods. <laughs> Well, look, that's where we'll be staying, right? It's some posh old law or something. Well, as if mate lives. Well, that's if we can blag the key off his parents before they go on their own. It looks a bit remote. Uh, secluded. Dead, you mean? Which means we can do what we like. I mean, when the club closes, we, we can party all night. There's no one there to stop us. <laughs> that's really romantic. Here, Alfie, the wedding's off. Forget the Vic. We can get married in this posh Scottish gaff instead. Janine! Hey, just the man I wanted to see. Oh, uh, yeah, can it wait? Ah, I've got a new training programme for you. Yeah, I just need yeah. to have a word with Janine. Kind of the excess of Christmas. There's something we need to discuss. Right. See you. Yeah, see you. What? New Year. Uh-huh. Or should I say Hogmanay, as they call it in uh, the only place worth being when New Year's comes a knocking. So we're going to Scotland for New Year. Didn't uh, Ricky and Sam go there once? Uh, yeah, yeah, years ago. And remind me, why, why did they do that? They went to Gretna and got married. <laughs> this new year, how would you like to do exactly the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this could be just what we need. We're messing about at the moment, right? A few quid here and a few quid there. But that's a joint account of ours looking pretty healthy. We need proper money, Paul. The kind of money he's got tied up in that house. Well, the only way to get our hands on that is by putting the deeds in joint names. So if he's on this roll already, well, that's going to help, isn't it? A few sweet nothings whispered in his ear. Nice one. Mm. <laughs> Still. A bit weird, though, isn't it, eh? I mean, this time next week you could be Mrs Barry Evans. Still want to go through with it? Well, there's no reason why I should have changed my mind, is there? There's none that I can think of. Well, there's your answer, then. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Mickey, give me a call when you get this message, all right? He wasn't there. Uh, listen, are you, are you sure we can trust him with this? Because without transport, there's no way we're going to make it to Scotland. So I hear you were looking for some transport? No. Sorry. Mate, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Well? I said he's got to park it outside the figure ready to be off in the morning. Should be in any minute.
little bit more than mug cons, innit? What do you expect? Nothing but the best from the main man. Cool or what? Look, T, I'm old, man. It's cool. You might have been too shy to ask me for help, but I ain't too shy to give it to you. I borrowed this baby for you. What? Just one condition. I have to drive, so you'll have to add me to that little guest list of yours. Just forget it, Herrick. Huh? We've already got transport. Yeah, we're using Mickey's minibus. Mickey's? Boy, that guy's a fool. Maybe you got him confused with someone else. Like yourself. All right, all right, this might be a little bit over the top, but I only did it so I could go with you guys. I'm sorry, T, man. You shouldn't have bothered. Oh, no. I must be hallucinating. Is she a little beauty? Mate, she sounds like she wanted to get out of Wolford, let alone up to Scotland. No, no, don't worry about that. I just nudged the exhaust on one of them sleeping policemen on the way round. No wonder. Have you seen the suspension on this thing? And that's without any luggage in it. No, look, look. Hey, look at it. Look at this. Look at that for capacity, eh? You could fit an elephant in there. Yeah, but we ain't taking one. No, look, don't worry, all right? She's a top-class motor. She's as safe as ours is. Just, um... Oh. You should go and get me a drink, alright? I've got to try and screw this back on. Come in, you lot. I'll be in in a minute. I weren't kidding. What about this being a top class mate? No, no, no. <laughs> about you being a little beauty. Look. Good looking pair, aren't we? <laughs> See? I reckon we could be the, the Brad and Jennifer of Albert Square. No, no I reckon more, more and more push and backs. <laughs> They're nuts, you know that. <laughs> So, like, you think you're going to have a good new year? Maybe.